Hello folks, this is Anthony J here with some good news. That vegan teacher had been banned for the second time from TikTok. This is what you get for making rude video. Really. But the thing I'm here today is The new King Cops 2021 button. Now every year there's a different color and you notice it's kind of blue with fireworks. You want to know what colors and I did. Now I have almost every single one that ever been put out. And once again this one who I will be wearing this. With my a few other pins of the season but I was as I was buying that something came came up oh, sorry. I have to get it now if you are a, a person who makes chocolate bars for a, a, a you know the country and slowly you started to run out of ideas. My Kit Kat is having the same problem. So you know what their new favor is? Popcorn. Popcorn. It's only in the chunk chunk here. And, and it's just like, I bought it because like, there's not many chocolate bars out there have popcorn in it. You may get a bag for a chocolate covered popcorn, but putting it in the chocolate is really a new idea. I don't know the last time uh, any company tried to put popcorn in there. I know they uh, tried it once. But I never had it because I had peanuts in it too. But still, I'm gonna open this. I know. You must be laughing at yourself like popcorn. Another popcorn. It looked like the, um, do something like they do with um, popcorn shirts. And put it in in this layer. I know. It is an extra crunch. I, I give you that. Interesting taste of it. Not bad, but interesting good. Hmm. There's salty, so there's a salty popcorn. Just like that peanut butter in it. Sometimes when you mix something, it's good. But, there's something else. Folks, if your coffee intake is down, you find out more and more of the kid breakfast cereal, it's not your type. It's people laughing at you because you eat Kim Don't breakfast cereal. Well, for the people who want to get their coffee fixed and finally have a grown up breakfast cereal, Tim Hutton is now saving your butt. Okay, say mocha. Yeah, 
It's mocha coffee. And it's like something like Timbit, but you know, parents, don't get this to your kids because I got coffee and you know what coffee do this to them. Well, it's in chocolate. You don't want them to be hyper. So what's on sale for two ninety nine? It's like, oh well, let's try it. Let's open it. Why do you noticing? There's marshmallows in it. Well, want to see we have marshmallows in it? Wow. Surprise. Yes, yeah. I smell like coffee. Don't give this to the kid. If I smell coffee, you know, it's got maybe real coffee. I can send the kids for this. This is for going. Smaller than the tin bit breakfast here. And some people like him you know, a cream. I guess that's why this is here. But you look like, oh. I don't think any kids would like that. That's a, a good thing. Why? Right? Honestly, kids who like coffee probably do like it, but another better say for us grown ups to have finally. What's it done with the Coke Axe? And finally. The Yukon hand sensor. Yeah, I th I think I'm I'm going to start a new hobby because I got two with the Yukon name on it. Yes. Why are you going to have to? Oh, is it for whiskey? It does doesn't have um bark on it. I'm not sure. But you notice in one thing, our beer um, brewers here are stopping making it, and they're making hand sanitizer. This is in another local brewery making hand sanitizer so we keep our hands clean. And I think you know what? I I like to get a bottle of say BC uh, hand sanitizer or an Ontario one. And I have like a class of a set of 15 bottles of local breweries across Canada with a name on it. Yukon, Manitoba, Ontario. And then we can make jokes. Yes, folks. It's really odd that now new things come on and so forth. Oh, excuse me. I hate when that comes out of doing my videos. But, it's one thing, uh, you know, Bob so wa watch out. Now, as I say at the beginning of the these you see you had been tried for pissing something that people don't want to, you know, listen to. I think it takes it to take a lesson to Peter. Paper because and Greenpeace because that's why we so I was a kid got tired of it because that's a Greenpeace commercial so some rare killings and all that and, and we got tired of it. and they stopped making the video. Well, this is why the Vega tissue. Now yesterday he I mean she took a book and basically ran her finger around about how an outdated book on how to talk to your kids. 
I didn't want to make a video about it, but the book is antique. I think I know where to get it. And if I want to make a good thing, I will. But so far, Jesus Christ, you know, that's draws now. The reason she got out because she broke a few rules at TikTok. Now, I don't go to TikTok or even use TikTok, but she is kind of give TikTok a bad name now. Yes. Oh, you know, everything I have is vegan. <laughs> she, she said, you don't have to eat veggies. This is Bible series with wheat in it. Chocolate with... Oh, the only thing I have cow milk is chocolate. Oops, I'm sorry. Ah! People tell me drinking pop is bad for you. Well, I always tell them from now on, it's a vegan way to drink. So at least uh, I'm not drinking pig blood. I'm drinking Coke Exo. With the beans, that's one thing about us coffee drinkers. Beans are the veggie. Beans give you uh, us power and wake up during the day. Cow, I'm not really sure. Unless uh, there's a recipe in What's Up Yukon about how to soak your steak in coffee. I guess for people who have breath, want steak and eggs in the breakfast, now you can skip the coffee and have it in your meat. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but still, it, it looks like little cat, you know, when they draw on your coffee. It's a, much better, it's a plant. So again, I'm glad... <laughs> Some of my stuff I eat is better tasting. Now, I don't know how much milk is in there. Who cares? And she knows that I like to munch some breakfast here without milk. Why? Milk is very expensive here in the Yukon. I want to get part of the milk, and I want to use my part of the milk on my porch. You know... That's one, one, another thing why people eat meat, Mrs., uh, Miss Vigil Tisa, it's down to me. You know, out in Montreal, Quebec, I'm here in the Yukon. I cannot afford meat half the time, because it's way more than you, even milk. Do you probably get your milk about around three dollars? Four, four gallon. We are pay anything between four dollars to seven dollars a full year. Well, I had, I'm, I'm not. It's a waste of money for me for four years. For that price, I could buy part of milk and have any time. See, the reason I eat less meat is not because of the veggie tissue. It's the price of, you know. And finally, I'll give you good news. We finally have a butcher shop. A place to take out local pigs and have cheaper pig meat. Or we, yeah, a commercial beef place. We could take out Yukon grown pigs on Yukon time and turn them into pork chops. Finally, we have one. Here in the Yuka, our first one. So now with the price of meat, hopefully for our bacon goes down. Now I just heard it this morning, it's a good, good thing to have. So if you, that vegan tissue, if you want to come up to the Yukon for a reason, other than a look at the high price of meat, come and see, now we could cut, uh, kill our pigs, and our local, um, Wildlife, commercially, just like down south, by the way. I'm finally happy that one reason why we have the meat is caught so much. Now, if we, 
only can make this cheaper than our potatoes. Yes, we grow our potatoes and carrots up here and store them so we can have potatoes all the time. But anybody have a notice of my cooking videos, I'm using a lot of meat. Why? It's just damn much. I get more better quality of um, meat from the food store, I mean, the food bank, because this is so damn expensive. You know, the lambs I use in my, um, it's very expensive. I only use them when I got my GST so I can afford it. Oh, damn, once a while. You know, it reminds me why a lot of people hunt meat sale that they could teach it is for one reason. The food is expensive. A hunting rider is cheaper. Buy a gun, buy some ammo, get a license, and it pays for pound to pound when you go to shoot a moose up here. Or a bison, or a buffalo, a bunch of gophers, hang some rabbits, get some birdie meat in your life. So you have, you know, that expensive steak, cut it up and last for a whole month when you have moose around. I know that vegan teeth is going to be screaming at me in the high hair, but I don't care. Because there's some places you can't afford. You know, since that vegan teeth is in Canada, you should go up north from Quebec and see how expensive bringing in meat in this and that. And you say, yay! But don't yay yet. Far in North you get, it's the last time to grow things. And then during the summer, winter amount, the price of potatoes go up because our stock of Yukon potatoes are going down for the population because we do shape them down south too. Same as our Karen and so forth. So, what makes sense to you now? You know, being rude or being sensible. I'm the sensible person here. You know, that's why I don't like, I don't care about your lifestyle, but you're pressing your lifetime, your lifestyle on people who are up here in the north who can't afford to be vegan all the time. Especially high up in Dawson City, Old Crow, none of it, and all, all the other, like the Lord Bay. Let's just try to ship venues up there. How can they be, you know, your type of people up there in Canada, far away from Montreal, and you want them to eat veggie in the middle of winter and they don't really, you know, you can't freeze potatoes because it tastes off, I know. You know, in Dawson City when I was in the bush, bringing a, a pack, uh, a 10 pack of potatoes is a lot of because you have to put it in your shirt with your eggs and drive with your snow to be back home. Hopefully, they won't be frozen. Frozen cows is not bad. But when you freeze something hot, it tastes off. This is why wintertime, I don't really bring eggs in here. Not because, you know, the ghost is always over there, it's because we have ice. I don't want to buy egg and strip and I break my neck and all of my breakfast. I usually ha I have a friend with a car drive me back on first because then if she hit the bump and break egg, she buys me an egg. But I feel uncomfortable walking on the slippery places here in the Yukon with my good boots and slip and break my eggs. And they got you know, the good stuff, up to $7 a carton, and you want the cheap stuff, it's about $4, or maybe 3 a carton of eggs. Yeah, that vegan taste. It's very expensive to ha even have an egg breakfast. Bacon, I have to wait until they get to, the cheap three ninety nine bacon is now four ninety nine. and if I want to go good quality, I had to pay ten ninety nine. 
Is it no fun to make me eat vegan? No. That's how the price of gasoline is here in the UK. This is why we eat more junk food. Because it's cheaper. So you're helping. You have to have a good government job up here in the Yukon to be like that bigger teacher. Because that's all expensive meat and veggies here in the Yukon. Yeah, I, I save money on grew potatoes, as you know, in, in my videos, I, I grew. I still have my potatoes. It saved me a lot of money to grow my own potatoes. But seasons are short, you have to get the good quality in order in potatoes to have a good crop. I'm glad that bigger um, teachers out the TikTok again. Now, a note for Bob, if you keep on being an asshole, you will be like the bigger teacher. Eric! Remember, bigger teacher, one more strike, you out of there, including the bylaws. <laughs> this is what you get, bigger teacher, to be mean to us meat eaters. And other people who don't give a shit. God make um, babies cute so we don't kill them. Remember that? Sink in your mind. Bye.